Lori Popal here. Today we're going to work on a new project. This was once a beautiful ostrich egg. Now it's a, in pieces still. Beautiful pieces. This is the beginning of my next project. I will be taking these broken pieces and gluing them. The glue I use will dry clear. I can use the uh, five minute epoxy, but then I would have to really work quickly. And sometimes it takes a little bit more time. So I do believe I will be using this tacky glue. It'll give me a little bit more time to work. I will be using trim with my project and I also will be using the tacky glue for this because it dries clear. Here I have my tweezers to pick up my pieces of eggshell. It makes it much easier when I can actually pick the small pieces up and glue them in place. I'm using a chalkboard shaped like a rooster, but you can use any shape or any hard surface. I will be adding trim all around the outline of the rooster. After I've trimmed the outline of the rooster, I will then begin by gluing down pieces of the eggshell. Here you can see where I have put the trim in different areas for the feathers, the tail feathers. I've had to use different eggshells, broken eggshells that I have. And this here in particular is one from a filigree egg that broke. I thought that would look very nice right in here. And now I have to fill in all these areas with more broken eggshells. I just work in small areas at a time. So I just apply a little bit of glue and say just about uh, an inch area. And then I try to find pieces of shell that will fit into these areas. And push them down. Find another piece that might work. Just like that. We kind of butt them up against each other. If you feel that your glue is too thick, you can take a toothpick and, and move it around, thin it out a little bit. When you're working with your uh, pieces here, your broken pieces, run your finger over them. Make sure that they're all about the same height. If they're not, then if you can, take your finger and smash them down. There are many times that the shell is so tough that I have to use a tool to, to break the pieces a little bit smaller or to mash them down so that they'll all be the same height. And this has a nice smooth feel to it also. This is two part epoxy that I will be using to finish my uh, project. I will let the glue dry. I will let, let all the pieces get glued on completely. And then I will apply my epoxy all over to seal all the pieces. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel to get updates of new videos. Visit my website at lauripopal.com. Hugs!